meant to put it back. Oh well. VCRs. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. I guess this is just the guest room. What? Ghost Hunter Journal. Fall shadows upstairs hall, but when I rounded a corner. Feels a presence. Hmm. Huh. Here we go, another note. Exam form. Very cool. Oh, that's cool. Heavens to Betsy. Don't look here. All right. So there is a. Yeah, all right. So down a floor. The basement. Apparently, there is a secret passageway in the library. Let's go check that out. And then I'll come back upstairs to check out the attic. Uh, just to let you guys know, I do know the game ends in the attic. Um, saw that on a speed run with uh, screw attack guys against kind of funny guys. Uh, they did a, uh, a speed run with a mittens diary. So I understand that like, you just have to like go to the attic and that ends the game. But, uh, oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. I'm here. The library is down here. Right? Oh, nope. It's Dad's office, then to the library.
Huh, cool. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. Oh. The lights went out. Yeah. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. No. I just nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook-up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. She got to pick up Uncle Oscar, her Uncle Oscar stuff. Oh, did you do? I'll put that back in a bit. Private, do not read. Heaven at the edge of the world. Allegra, did you do? Scouting party. Stop. She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal. What's this? up your player because if I remember correctly there's another one up there which I'm gonna grab and that'll have the second one I wish I could go a little bit faster but I like this low methodical pace Okay, here we go. Items zero five zero one. Zero five zero one open. Alright, let's check this out. Lonnie? Okay. Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair and she wouldn't look at me. Finally I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. Hmm. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. Oh. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie. Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Whoa! Holler! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Heading down to the basement. Gonna check out cool stuff downstairs. Do 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 Okay. Is this not the Oh, to the basement's over here. Okay. I should have taken that shortcut through the library.
Hmm. Library. Oh, this is cool. Oh, no way. for it. Okay, it doesn't work. Oh, this must be his old, all of his old stuff. Hey, Sam. I'm writing to you from... Oh, okay. So this is something I wrote back to her. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus <laughs> left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. Oh. But I don't think they know, no, about us. Oh, Kids not. at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Oh. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. That's a lie to Mom and Dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and- Oh, okay, that's cool. The Psycho House Girl. The coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinking you don't know. They're looking at you and whispering as you walk past. Because I guess uh, they haven't heard of peripheral uh, costume skeletons. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> the king is the patriarchy. <laughs> I mean, that's something. she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in the, this incident, the fact is that no guilt has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence. In other words, there is no one to punish. get this? Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded about things. Yeah? It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen if they did? You know dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. Lonnie 
duh, duh, duh. she's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away and then when she's home she takes it out on you like because you're not a member of the family she knows you won't call her on it and I'm sorry uh -huh, duh, duh, duh. sorry I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that I know I shouldn't complain oh wait what's this what's this I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have your home every day. Damn. Is a psycho Christian. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, now I'm... No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her new husband, quote-unquote Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you'd rather live with you. your mom... And, so you wouldn't rather live with Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, there you go. Let's, let's read them up. Sam, the school was the coolest thing I found in Mexico. It was like three bucks. I'll treasure it always. Well, that's cool. Table. Disciplinary referral. Distributing inappropriate material on school grounds. Please call to phone call to student care. What is this? Sam, since you refuse to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and Oh, telephone. Uh, privileges and from using your car for any time except going to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once you or once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your uh, what is that bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't happen again. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. They saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. Oh, wow. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. Oh. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. Ooh. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Sheesh. Whoa. Let's see this. Come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Call them back. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with our favorite flannel-clad hunk. What a blast. But you sound like you're reading in a lot into an innocent night out. You're sure there's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure they, they're not serious? Oh, gosh. Okay. 
Sorry, I just had an idea that I might have something here, but I don't. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was making sure because I was sure I brought the bottle with me. Okay. Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny. Da, da, da. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends. How much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and dad, and Lonnie. Oh. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. parents aren't even in town? the country. Jeez. Oh. Well, that's interesting. And I'll tell you something, though. That Daniel, he's a cool kid. Oh, they got a greenhouse. Kick ass. Not an option to leave. Oh, but there's a note. Examine map. Huh. 
Where we'll do it. Midnight, final preparations complete. Secret door under the stairs. What? We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. Huh. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. So Sam up in the attic? Sleep in the attic, in Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to Basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it. With the army, and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Huh. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. Wow. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. Well, all right then, that is a... Uh... That is a game. How many strokes does this game have? Oh, I didn't have all three, all 23 of them, huh? No modifiers enabled. Oof. But here's the thing, there's no platinum for this game. Is that a resume? Because I'm resuming? I thought it was the end of the game. Ah, I see. 
Seven quid to many. Okay. Now I see. Well, all right. So that is Gone Home. Gone Home, of course, uh, not too long of a game. It took me just an hour kind of methodically going through where I could go through. It turns out I didn't find all the journal entries my first time through, but, you know, it's an interesting game. It really was about the, the journey rather than the destination like I thought it would be. Uh, had a good time playing it. Uh, an interesting game. An interesting game. Very reflective. Very, A very unique story and a very unique voice that I just don't think we see in video games very often. I've heard other people, you know, echoes of that same kind of sentiment. But it was a rather unique experience playing through that. And, uh, you know, the idea of... I mean... Who's to say what their future held? I think it's very... I think in a sense it's very optimistic. I like how a couple of points I was like, Oh, man, is this actually like a haunted game? <laughs> like, was I wrong on that? But as it would turn out, it's just a, it's a good game. Uh, not too difficult, not too problematic. Just, it's... The gameplay-wise, it's pretty okay. Um, nothing too fancy. I really enjoyed the slow, methodical pace you had to put into it. There was no running mechanic in there that was actually... Made it feel like I was just kind of exploring this house for the first time. Which is exactly what Katie, the character, was doing. Very interesting. Very, very interesting way to tell a very unique story in this kind of a platform. And that platform being video games in general. Uh... Man, I really, uh, I actually really enjoyed myself. Like I said, I knew, smit, like, just echoes and smitterings of just what other people have kind of just overhearing, but just kind of trying to keep the blinders on. And, uh, I'm glad that I did. I'm glad that I took the time to really just wait till I was in a, an environment and a place to play it. And thank you so much for, uh, for watching it, of course. Uh, if you're watching this, it's probably on our YouTube channel. Um, if you ever want to find anything on Naughty Gamers in general... Just go to NaughtyGamers.com. Once again, that's NaughtyGamers, K-N-O-T-T-Y. Uh, because uh, you're complex and complicated just like we are. Now, this is where I say goodbye. I bid you adieu. But I'd like to thank you guys so much for, you know, your time coming through this with me. And uh, gone home. It is through. Even if you've watched this entire Let's Play. There's something special about this game. I... I don't know. I think this one's gonna... Gonna sit with me for a little while. Definitely gonna sit with me for a little while. But... In the meantime... So long. Happy trails until we meet again. I, have, of course, have been Cameron Abbott, the unsexiest comedian that you know in the man whose face was built for radio. You can follow me at Unsexiest Comedy. You can follow us at Naughty Gamers on Twitter as well. Um, Instagram, Facebook.com slash Naughty Gamers. All of that stuff, all our YouTube page, everything together can all be found at NaughtyGamers.com. And uh, thank you guys so much, and hope you've enjoyed it. And as always... <laughs>